Hi, welcome to ESPN for a special presentation of Sports Center. Yesterday at the 1980 Olympic Winter Games in Lake Placid, New York, the American people witnessed something that six months ago they thought was impossible, beating the Soviets. Our boys beat the Soviets 4-3 to three with 8,500 people watching. Half of the crowd didn't know the difference between a blue line and a closed line, but it didn't matter. The match was not just about hockey. The Soviet team had won four straight gold medals from 1964 to 1976 and beat the All-Star NHL team a few months before the Olympic Games. Two days before the opening ceremonies, the Soviet team faced off against the Americans at Madison Square Garden. The Soviets beat our boys 10-3 and injured Americans defenseman Jack O'Callaghan, who could not play in the games until last night. The average age of the American team is 21, while the average age of the Soviet team is 25. The Soviet team had played together and trained together for years, while the American team had only been training together for six months. The Soviet team also had some of the best players in the world. Vladislav Tretsiak, considered the best goalkeeper in the world, and Boris Mikhailov, their top line right winger, and also the team captain. Losing to the Soviet team seemed inevitable, but it was only through the hard work and perseverance of our boys and the brilliant strategies of Coach Herb Brooks that the Americans were able to win. In the first period, the Soviets did have the lead, but USA's Bud Snyder tied it up. Then again, the Soviets pulled ahead, and with only two and a half minutes left in the period, the Americans became desperate. In the last second of the period, Mark Johnson took a shot on goal, tying up the game. In the second period, the Soviet coach replaced their goalkeeper, Tretsiak, with the backup, Myshkin, benching the best goalie in the world. The Soviets scored another goal on a power play two minutes into the period, and the Americans were not able to recover. In the third period, Vladimir Krutov was sent to the penalty box for high sticking, which gave the Americans an opportunity to go on the offensive. Mark Johnson again got the opportunity to score, and he did, tying it up yet again. At the change of the shift, Mike Ruzioni, USA's team captain, was put on the ice. He was left unguarded and had an open shot on goal, and it slid in past Michigan with 10 minutes left in the game. This goal gave the Americans the first lead of the game, the score 4-3, and the Americans were able to hold off all Soviet attacks and ended the game victorious. It was truly a miracle. We have a reporter in Lake Placid today to interview Coach Brooks. Thanks, Camden. I'm here to talk about the game last night with Coach Brooks. How does it feel to be what some people say is the best team in the world? Well, it's just really great to do something everybody thought was impossible. My boys deserved it last night. They trained so hard. They deserved it. You said that your boys have all trained very hard. What was your strategy during the training? Well, the Soviets are a really good team, and they're always on the offensive. My strategy was to just beat them at the end of the game. Shoulders square. Push it. Stop it. Go. Legs feed the wolf, boys. The legs feed the wolf. Go stay with him, Jimmy. Stay with him, Jimmy. Beat them at their own game. What do you mean by that? You couldn't just sit back and play classic position hockey. We had to be able to skate with him and go on the ice. After the game, we crossed off the ice in the locker room. Why did you do that? It was their moment. It was their time to shine. Not mine. I didn't want to take away from them. Do you plan to do anything different in the final game against Finland? No, our style of play is beating the best team in the world. Our boys just need to play the way they train. Thank you for your time, and I wish you the best of luck in your final game against Finland. Thank you. Back to you, Cam. Thanks, Kyle. For those of you who missed the game, we're going to show a clip of the final minute. Losing it to Silk. Now Petrov controls. Back to Parlamov. Skating in on the left side. Into the American end. 55 seconds. But Mikhailov has the puck. Mikhailov sweeping in. Out in front. Backhander goes wide. I think Craig might have got just a piece of it. Mikhailov back out to Billy Legendov. 43 seconds remaining. Morrow checked into the boards. It comes back to center ice. 38, 37 seconds left in the game. Petrov with it. The Americans on top. 4-3. to three. Long shot. Craig able to get a piece of it to sweep it away. 28 seconds. The crowd going insane. Carlamon shooting it into the American end again. Morrow is back there. Now Johnson, 19 seconds. 
Johnson over to Ramsey. Bill Yelechinov gets checked by Ramsey. McClanahan is there. The puck is still loose. 11 seconds. You've got 10 seconds. The countdown going on right now. Morrow up to Schultz. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Unbelievable. The final game against Finland tomorrow in the gold medal game. Do you believe in your?